In today's video, we're going to check out the Davoom Pixu 64, which is a 10.3 inch 64 by 64 LED frame. This cool looking panel connects over Wi-Fi and allows you to do quite a bit, such as you can get the latest weather, stats on your favorite teams, social media, create your own pixel art, and much more. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. I would like to thank Davoom for sending the Pixu 64 for review. They have a number of cool LED products available, though this is the first Davoom product I've used. It came very nicely packaged in a sturdy box. Looking at the back, it states it has a social media account status tracker, a 64 by 64 mobile app programmable LED, easy pixel art and animation creation process, online pixel art gallery and user community, as well as daily functions and evolving mobile applications. Let's get it out of the box and see what all this means and how it works. Inside the box you'll find a USB-C to USB Type-A cable for powering the Pixo 64. Note that it does not have a built-in rechargeable battery. There is a hardware pack, we'll look at that in a moment, and a 5 volt 2000 milliamp hour power adapter. The manual is only two pages, covers a number of different languages, but there is not much useful information here. Again, the packaging and presentation is very nice. There are a number of ways you can hang it up on your wall, or even set it on a table using the included stand. There is a micro SD card pre-installed. Fortunately, you likely won't ever need to remove it as it's a little difficult to get to. I didn't see any indication as to the capacity of the card, so connected it to my computer and noticed it is a 4 gigabyte card. It makes sense as the images and animations will be very small when downloaded to the Pixu 64. To get started, just plug in the USB-C in to the bottom of the frame, then slide the stand upward through the hole in the back. You'll then see that it's waiting to be configured. On your phone or tablet, Download the free Davoom Pixel Art application from the appropriate App Store, which supports both Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. You will need to register for a free account and log in. I did encounter one issue where it said the password was incorrect when it actually wasn't, but did wind up connecting just fine. To be thorough, I did format the internal microSD card to test that function, I don't recommend you doing the same, it took quite a while to format the card and is really unnecessary unless you plan on using a different card. On the right hand side you'll find a rocker button. The top button will turn the Pixu 64 on or off. The bottom will cycle through the images. If you plan on hanging it on the wall, you will want to go into device settings, select rotate display, and set it for 180 degrees. There are three mounting holes one on the bottom and two at the top. Using the included hardware, slide the rubber washer through the screw and you can mount it to the two top holes or the one on the bottom. I did try attaching two different tripod mounts to the bottom hole, but unfortunately it's not the same size as a standard tripod mount. It does work with the included hardware, however. The Devoom application has a lot of features and capabilities. We'll take a quick look at some of them under the Discover tab, the design will allow you to create your own pixel art. If you'd rather create your own artwork from an existing image, you can use the camera in your phone to instantly convert it, such as this one, from a Pac-Man light. Once added, you can easily pinch and zoom in further to enhance the image. Selecting Animation will of course allow some fun animations to be created. Now let's go ahead and create one. I'll start by creating a frame and draw a simple base image of a horse. Then select the copy previous frame and add a second frame. I'll then fill in some happy little legs and a tail. <laughs> Switch back to the first frame and change the position of his legs. And in a matter of a few seconds, we have a very basic animation of a horse running. You could, of course, add color and spend much more time on it than I did. The countdown option will allow you to set a countdown timer. The Pixu does have a small speaker, which will beep when the timer expires.
There is also a noise meter which will indicate the sound decibels near the Pixu 64. There are a number of clocks available that can update information over Wi-Fi. As someone who creates YouTube videos, I got a kick out of this one, which will show you YouTube views and subscriber counts. Which, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope you'll consider doing so. I certainly appreciate your support. Though there are many more clocks to explore. If you're into Bitcoin, there's one for that. Or track your favorite stock tickers with this one. There's one for exchange rates, as well as clocks for your favorite sporting events, or clocks for holidays. You can also get your local weather forecast. Tapping on the plus tab at the bottom middle will allow you to explore a near infinite list of community developed pixel art on this 10.3 inch 64 by 64 LED matrix. No matter how you want to use the Pixu 64, there is likely already some fun artwork available for you to add. Let's take a look at various examples that you may find interesting. I hope that quick look provided some ideas on how you can use this device. Earlier I did mention there is no internal battery, but there's nothing stopping you from using a power bank to run it for several hours, which will of course be dependent on the capacity of the battery you use. Before we bring this video to a close, I do want to mention that there are a few important ways you may want to use the Pixu 64. If you like to tinker, You'll be happy to know there is a rather impressive Pixu REST API available that will allow you to create your own custom routines. The Swagger documentation and more is available from this GitHub page. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out if interested. I had mixed results with the Amazon skill. Sometimes it would do what I asked, but often not. However, IFTTT, or If That Then This, provided a much better option when coupled with Amazon Music. It worked consistently during my testing, and here's an example. Play Living on a Prayer. Here's Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi on Amazon Music. It was at this point that the song began playing, and the panel was updated. Since it's copyrighted music, I can't actually play the audio, so we'll switch over to music I can play. That brings us to the end of another video. Again, I would like to thank Davoom for sending this over for review. It has certainly been fun checking out what this LED Pixu 64 can do. The application worked well for the most part, minus a few hiccups during the initial setup. The integration to Amazon could certainly be improved, but with IFTTT and Amazon Music, it was a very pleasant experience. With so many community-developed images and animations, it's going to be hard to get bored of this thing. I love the many clocks that it supports, and what was shown in this video is just an extremely small sampling of what's available. Special thanks to my daughter Kayla for creating this cool animated Wagner's Tech Talk logo. I love it. What do you think of the Davoom Pixu 64? Do you already own one or looking to pick one up? It would be great to hear your experience with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button. If you haven't already subscribed and liked what you saw here, it would be great if you did. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.